I'm going to continue the holding site series and in this video I want to focus on a inferno. Here's 5 tips and tricks that might help you win those important CT rounds. Playing from pit. It's always good to have a player pit as it is one of the strongest choke points for the terrorist. A good one way smoke is this very easy right hand smoke from this corner, aim here, and you'll be able to see short. You can also throw a convenient pop flash on the door up a balcony that will bounce off to short. If you want to throw this safely, move forwards until the roof disappears, then throw it on the line. It's effective and can also confuse the guys on short because it's being thrown towards apps. If you go under balcony in this corner, you can crouch, aim here, and do a middle throw by holding in left and right click. This very useful pop flash will take care of apps and short at the same time. Usually when the terrorists push from apps, they will throw a flash like this, and as soon as you hear something being thrown, throw yours to time it perfectly with the push. Another flash from the same position can be used towards long by aiming at the chimney here and run throw. Have one guy ready here or one guy in library to get some easy kills. Playing from default. If you jump on these double crates, you get a very good angle for apps, which means you will see them before they see you. From this same position, you can throw lots of good nades to support your team. This jump throw will pop middle without getting your team flashed. Just make sure you time it properly with your teammates so they can peek at the same time. If you throw a smoke instead of a flash, it will neatly cover up middle. Remember to jump throw in order for your flash and smoke to work, and it should also work pretty well on 64 tick servers like matchmaking. From this same position on crates, you can aim here to the left of the roof, right click and throw another very useful pop flash for short. Lastly, if they take over middle, you can throw this molly by aiming here and it will land right under roof. Playing from long. If you have an op, you can get an early pick from second mid with this tight angle and after each shot you can move back and do this three times over. I would suggest rotating to sight so you can use that long distance to pick someone apps and shorts. Here's a very useful pop flash if you're in cubby. Look up, find the texture near the middle section and throw it like this. It's so good. If you want to try a ninja play, you can put out a bait smoke by lining up with the plank like this, use this as a guideline, aim here and throw. You'll be able to sneak right into the far right corner and catch someone off guard middle. The reason why this works is because long is smoked, so most people will assume that it's to prevent a rush and you'll have an off angle advantage from the corner. A good pop flash, if they're peeking long from middle, is in this corner. Aim at this dot on the wall and run throw. It's very useful if someone's peeking or if you just want to bait some noise to know if someone's actually there. Playing from short. If you're ever gonna boost someone, boost like this to save time. Being on the roof is the best part of short. You will be able to see the guy boiler before he sees you and if they smoke you'll be able to see them long. But Maximo, what if they molly you? If they do, don't panic. Just jump to one of the smaller balconies to avoid losing your position. You can throw a smoke around here to let them pass under the roof. This will give you an easy kill from this position if they take the bait, which happens a lot. Trust me on that. It's also a great position if someone's coming from apps. Oh, and if you don't like movement, then I don't recommend short or this position at all. You can sometimes get away with this position even though I'm not a big fan of it, but I can suggest this position, mostly because this guy from boiler can't see you because of the angle advantage you have, unless he goes out more to peak, and most players coming from mid will be pre-aiming balcony so you can really catch people off guard, but you're out in the open so that's the only downside. Overall, boosting a guy up roof is a solid plan for holding short. Playing from or inside apps. 
there's two really useful smokes to learn here. First one is right near the balcony entrance, touch the wall behind you, line yourself up so the flower pot disappears, and throw the smoke next to the fence line here. This is actually an old smoke, but some people don't know about it, and it's very useful. The next smoke is in boiler. Touch the wall behind you, line up the fence like this, and throw where there's a dark spot on the carpet. This creates a very convenient one way which allows you to check both windows and you will barely be seen. I want to finish the video by saying don't play from graveyard like this. There's too many angles and you're out in the open, unless you're really sure that they can only come from long. However, this position right here is good or even better overall. Please don't hide here if you're the only guy on A. You can get away with this like 50% of the time, but that's only if the T's are pressured by your teammates. That's all for this video, see ya in the next one, stay awesome, and go bananas.